Hey guys, this is Emu Chicken, and welcome back to Team Pandori. Recently, we reviewed the Amiga 500 Mini. We found some decent alternatives to the included controller, but we were left with something very limited in a nice case. What if we could get Workbench 3.9 on the machine? Have access to Amiberry's configuration screen so we could load up ADFs? Alternative game launchers? Or how about we just simply push it to the limit? Today, we will soft mod our A500 Mini with a Mini Amiga. For this, we'll first need a USB flash drive. I'm using a 16GB SanDisk Cruiser. They're pretty cheap and they'll do the job. We're going to format it using Rufus, using the settings FAT32 and MBR. This will remove all data off the flash disk. Make sure you back up anything if you need to. And then hit start. We'll then need to go to this website. There's a lot of information here, but we need to scroll down and find a Mini Amiga. The download is pretty heavy at 1GB and it's by Jimmy Johansson. So we're going to download it by clicking on this disk and then after it's downloaded we can open it up. If you want to find more information there's a readme file here. It's not too long, give it a quick read. To install we just simply select all these files and drag them to our USB stick. This will take a while so go make a cup of tea or a sandwich. If you get a warning, just tick the box here and press yes. And if it asks you if you want to replace the files, just hit the check mark and then you're pretty much good to go. Let's have a quick look what's copied over. We have an ADF folder. If you want to use some ADF files, just throw them in here. And we also have the WHD load folder. If you want to install any of the WHD load games, just copy them across here. They'll need to be in LHA format. And we also have hard folders. All of these files will be accessible in Workbench. There are a few games already installed, but if you wanted to add some more, extract the files from an LHA formatted WHD load game. This folder here is for demos. They also have WHD load versions of them. And to install, just extract them here. If you wanted to add some mods or MP3s, you can copy them over into the music folder. Now we're done here, we need to right click on the flash drive and then safely eject. We can now stick it in our A500 Mini and then boot it up. From the games list, we need to move to our USB stick, which will launch us into this file browser. Much like stock, we can load up the WHD load games directly from this menu. Nothing really has changed here, just the folder name from A500 Games to WHD Load. If we navigate to the ADF folder, we can load up this Pugs in Space demo. With a USB keyboard inserted, pushing F12 will bring us the Amiberry configuration screen. We can navigate to floppy drives, then press on these dots on the very right. DFO is our first floppy drive, and DF1 is our second. So I'll insert here disk 2. As we want Jim Power working a bit better, we're going to try and lighten the load. The Amiga 500 has the Kickstart ROM 1.3. We can change the chipset to OCS. We also have blitter options on the right. We can also change display to pixelated. Now if we go to the bottom and then push reset, our Amiga should load up with these floppy disks in. Looking good. You'll need to use the mouse to scroll down to start game and it's not changed much. We can see the glitching has stopped, but Jim Power still runs slow. Guess it's time for some workbench. Go to USB stick and start Amini Miga. Now this is glorious. Music player on the right, and there's hundreds of tracks to get through. If you want to open the track, go to this disc icon here, and you can browse through your virtual Amiga. You could just use this button here. Basically goes up a directory or folder, It's great. There's crack trows, 90s music, chill. If you go into system, applications, there's a tool called Dear Opus. If you wanted to copy, move, edit, or even view files, this is a great piece of kit. If you want to exit, press this at the top left. Let's try this game button. From here, you can easily launch your WHD load games. We extracted Jim Power for Workbench here earlier, but it's not showing up on this menu. 
we need to refresh the games list. So go to the very top left of your screen, push right mouse button, and scan repositories. Once you're done, you should have it in this list. To start, simply double click. At the bottom here, it'll tell you the quit key, so F10 will get you back into Workbench. <laughs> God damn it. Let's have a look at this games folder in our system drive. In here, we have a lot to play with. If we look towards the bottom, we have Tiny Launcher. Let's check it out. This one's a fairly simplistic launcher, and I think that's its greatest strength. Much like the last game launcher, you just select one of these, and it'll put you in the game. It uses the same folders as earlier. We'll need to refresh the games list to see our added game. On this main screen, hit right a few times to find sysconfig. Now F1 to update games. If we wanted to update our demos or mods list, we'd need to use F2 or F3. If you have many games, this may take a while, but once you're done, you should be on the list. As you can see, compatibility is the same. Let's check out some other games. Here's Epidia. Beneath the Still Sky, CD32, talky version. Who's up there? You won't escape that way. He must have jumped fell all the way to ground level. Phew. Lucky escape. Turrican 2. This is glitching out a bit. If we push F12, we can get to this option screen. And I'll just fiddle slightly. We'll use ECS Agnes, wait for Blitter, and Fast Copper. It's working a bit better, but as we did it mid-game, I think the sound's messing up a bit. Tiny Launcher also has demos here. As demos usually push the Amiga to its limits, you may see some slowdown. But can it run Doom? Well, let's find out. The answer, yes. Yes, it can. And let's try one more to finish off. How about some Duke Nukem 3D? If you enjoyed the video, please hit a like, subscribe, and the bell. This has been Imi Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!